The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, said that the reputation of the country is at stake. Briefing newsmen at the World Press Conference on Thursday, Atiku vowed to continue in the inquest of the academic records, saying there is no backing down until the Supreme Court decides. The former vice president, who had maintained silence since the release of the documents, secured release of Tinubu's education records from the CSU through a court subpoena against the disclosure by the president. This quest is not for or about Atiku Abubakar. It is a quest for the enthronement of truth, morality, justice, and accountability in our public affairs. I will only drop the fight uh, when the court rules, if the court rules that I am right, fine. If the court rules that he is right, so that's that's the end of the fight. Because at the moment we are at the Supreme Court, and there is no any other court than the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, Kalu Kalu, the lawyer to Atiku Abubakar, says President Bola Tinimbu's academic documents released by the Chicago State University. CSU indicated many things about the Nigerian leader. He spoke on Thursday during a press conference held by his principal, the presidential candidate of the PDP in the 2023 election in Abuja. And the documents Bola Ahmed Tinibu submitted to INEC, he denied having dual citizenship, which means it does not belong to him. Then the same document oral deposition says that the A, Bola A Tribu, is Ahmed. But the NOS certificate Bola Ahmed Tinibu submitted to INEC has Adekunle. I don't know where the Adekunle and the Ahmed emerge from. So on the second arm of your question, of what use will it be in the Supreme Court? It is very, very clear that from the certain authorities, the Supreme Court has held that they can accept a party to adduce fresh evidence as long as certain conditions are met. And from what transpired in the proceedings in U.S. courts, that condition has already been met. So as we speak, our law is very clear that a party at fault cannot be allowed to enjoy the fruit of his uh, illegality. Atiku further called on Nigerian leaders, including traditional and religious leaders, as well as political leaders like Peter B and Rabiu Kwankwaso to join in the campaign to ensure property. The release records, which came first on October 3rd, and a deposition showed that Tinibu's 1979 CSU certificate he submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, was different from samples of the certificates the university issued to students that same year. Today, we are called upon to again, as a people, to uphold and defend the ground rules of elective government in our country. The Constitution prescribes the requirements for those who seek the highest elective office in the land. It should not take months or indeed decades for the institutions concerned to be able to do their work in establishing the credibility of any certificates presented by candidates for public office. We undertook this journey at great cost and for important reasons. The ground rules for legitimate governance in our country need to be upheld. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.